In the previous video, we demonstrated how to send text to another text box in a different application using the window message set text constant and the send message by string procedure. And in this next video, we're going to show how to do the same thing, how to put in the next text box, the password box, and then click the command button. So first off, going to go back to our Spy++ application. See, I already have Google Talk already open. The username box was within a combo box. It was a child within that window. But in this case, the password window is not in that with it's not within that group. Instead, it's in the 32770 group, which we had already seen. And that's going to be this edit window right here. And then, of course, the sign in button. So what I'm going to do is set up another variable here. I'm going to need to create another since we use sub window twice going here we're going to need to change that out but I'm just going to put I'm going to create an, another variable here that's the 32770 window and it's going to be the same thing as the previous line find window ex the 32770 window only thing we're doing is changing the variable 32770 window and the reason behind that is that way we can find this edit box right here and so we're going to use this same code here too, but I'm going to call it edit window 2. And I'm going to place this after we after we input the username, put a little do events. And I'm going to do call send message by string. We're going to have to change this right here. Instead of it being the regular edit window variable, it's going to be edit window 2. And we'll just type in password test. So let me just try this out, see if this is going to work. And I must have set this up correctly, uh, incorrectly. Yeah, I, uh, this should have been changed to the 32770 window. So a little mistake there. Hit F5. And so that's set up. If you notice, so that the sign in button is disabled, we're going to need to enable that because. Chances are this button doesn't get enabled until it detects someone typing into the username text box or the password box. Using a window message set text does not call the other functions that usually enable the sign in button, such as a keystroke. So we're going to have to enable that button manually. And we can use in the API function enable window. And again, this can be used like with API viewer in order to get your API statements. Use an application like API Viewer 2004 or one provided by the MSDN. I'm going to load up the Windows 32 API. And the feature that we're going to be using is Enable Window. I already have that set up in my module. Do call Enable Window. And we're going to put in Button Window. I haven't set this variable yet, but we will right now. I'm going to create a variable here, button window is equal to find a window ex. And we said it was in the 32770 window. And it's a button. Let me just make sure. It's a button with the caption sign in. So just to make sure we find it. So this should put the username, the password, and enable the button window. I'm going to hit F55. And yeah, the button does get enabled. And now all the last thing we need to do is just click the window. So I'm going to do call send message. It's going to be button window again. This time we're going to use button message. Click. That's just going to be a constant. And again, the constants can be found it's going to be BM click. This will need to be pasted into your module. So that's going to be BM click zero. That's going to be by val zero ampersand. So this should get us set up to where it puts in the username, password, and clicks the button. So let's go on and try this code out. And there you have it. But of course, I mean, we're putting in an incorrect username and password, but 
I'm giving you these demonstrations so you understand how to put in text into a text box, enable a window, and then click it. This can be used to automate the process. I mean, of course, with Google Talk, you could always do remember my password, but if you want something a little bit more secure that runs from BBA, I mean, you could always set this up like an automation process. But again, the, real, the main purpose of this video though is to show you more around the Windows API statements and how you can use these kind of features to automate processes. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.